If you're hoping to enjoy the latest 3D computer software, it usually means you have to own the latest graphics technology to make it run. The first generation of 3D accelerators has now been replaced by faster designs to cope with more demanding titles, but there's a surprising name among the hardware suppliers. Not content with their domination of the computer processor market, Intel have created the 740, a graphics chip which does more than draw in three dimensions. The Intel 740 is a single chip that integrates leading edge 3D performance, very high performance 2D and a video engine into a single device. Being able to buy just one card that does much of the video and graphical work a multimedia computer is expected to do is great. However, it's the number of polygons, colors and visual effects that it can deliver to our screens that most of us want to know about. Game 12 months ago, the entire screen would have been made up of around 800 triangles. In the Terra application that we have, every dolphin is made up of 800 triangles. And with the Intel 740 architecture, we don't see any slowdown in frame rate as more dolphins appear on the screen at the same time. Part of any rendered image is the richness of the textures that are applied to its surfaces. Until recently, texture quality was limited by the amount of memory on your graphics card. Now though, thanks to the accelerated graphics port or AGP standard, designs like the 740 can use the computer's main memory to store textures. More memory means greater realism. The unusual thing was that it wasn't the game writers that got excited about this, it was the artists. Because now the artists could create images on the screen that were ten times more complex and more detailed than the graphics that they were creating just 12 months ago. Unfortunately, if you want to use the 740, you'll need a computer equipped with an AGP slot. Upgrading is never as simple as it should be. Compared to dedicated 3D systems, the 740's performance isn't as fast. Designed to solve many problems well rather than one problem brilliantly, Intel is aiming to please the mass market, not the high end. It's what they're already expert at doing.